everyone, it's Crystal from TidbitsOfExperience.com and tonight I'm going to talk to you about Blue Manor Preschool Christian Curriculum. Um, normally all the preschool curriculum has been handled by my mother-in-law because she normally is the one who teaches the preschool material. And this time I've come across this opportunity to review Blue Manor in exchange for an honest review as well as hosting a giveaway on Tibbets for all of my lucky readers to have a chance to earn it and win it for their kids or grandkids or whoever else they may want to use it for. Um, and what I have to say about Blue Manor curriculum is that it's actually a little bit more advanced than what I would typically imagine seeing in a preschool curriculum. And for me personally, that's a great thing because I think that these kids, the younger they are, the easier they are to teach. And I also feel like my mother-in-law is finding um, different things to teach Ziva within this curriculum and it makes it easier for her because everything is right there for her. Let me see if I can figure out how to share with you some of the sneak peeks that I want to share with you. Give me one second. Okay, as I said, this curriculum is a little bit different. It comes in an ebook fashion. And when you get the ebook fashion, you get it in a zip file, and of course you upload it. And of course, and here it gives you the directions. It starts out with phonics, vocabulary, Bible teachings, which I think are really neat, mathematics, colors, and concepts, science, drawing and art, personal development, and freebies. And all of these are filled with different. These are here: one, two, three, four, five, five books. That you can read with phonics. You have a letter and phonics reading guide to kind of help you with what you need to do with teaching your kids how to read. You have the color concepts. And when you open them up, this is what they look like. They go into another link or website. And of course, if you want to, you can print it out and make your own, your own little books, which is what I've done with Eva. That way, my mother in law can take over teaching. Now, this is just a sneak peek. I'm not going to show you a whole lot, but that's the letters and stuff. And here's some manners and how they can learn how to properly handle t interacting with others, praying for others, helping mom, nap time, keeping the room clean, basic stuff. And then, of course, this is one of the science lessons, the five senses. And I love the colorful images. The colorful images really help with teaching and keeping Ziva's attention while she's doing it. I love the numbers. It's very bright and colorful but yet simple at the same time and that helps with the whole concept and I like that it's right there including you all the way to 100 which I think that kids that are in preschool can learn to count to 100 with ease. And then here's some of the letters. And it's not in standard form. See how it says OK and then you can find the letters. That's very helpful for them to learn that. And then of course this is a copy of one of the books. Now the books are not like your typical books. And that's something that I really liked about this system because I've learned with Delbert when he was learning how to read he would memorize what words were on the books based off of the pictures that were in the book. He'd have the pictures telling him what the book is actually saying instead of learning how to read the words. And this here allows them to learn how to read the words first and then get rewarded with the picture for their efforts. And on top of that, the thing that confused me and really threw me off course was that there was a lot of capitalization and in lowercase. In some of the cases they weren't really used in the proper form, but in all in honesty, the kids are right now in preschool you really want to focus on them just learning how to read the words and reading the letters as they come instead of capitalization versus lowercase and proper punctuation and all that all that will come in later years I mean we cover that in first grade second grade third grade and we drill it into them in fourth and fifth so for me personally I think that that concept makes a lot of sense especially when you want the kids to be able to read whether it's in capital or lowercase lettering. So that's just a little small sneak peek into what Blue Manor has to offer. 